Mossbauer spectroscopy is a spectroscopic technique based on the Mossbauer effect. This effect, discovered by Rudolf Mossbauer also Mossbauer, German, Mobauer, in 1958, consists in the nearly recoil-free, resonant absorption and emission of gamma rays in solids. Like nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, Mossbauer spectroscopy probes tiny changes in the energy levels of an atomic nucleus in response to its environment. Typically, three types of nuclear interactions may be observed, isomer shift, also called chemical shift in the older literature, quadrupole splitting, and magnetic hyperfine splitting see also the Zeeman effect. Due to the high energy and extremely narrow line widths of gamma rays, Mossbauer spectroscopy is a very sensitive technique in terms of energy and hence frequency resolution, capable of detecting changes in just a few parts per 1011. Basic principle Just as a gun recoils when a bullet is fired, conservation of momentum requires a nucleus such as in a gas to recoil during emission or absorption of a gamma ray. If a nucleus at rest emits a gamma ray, the energy of the gamma ray is slightly less than the natural energy of the transition, but in order for a nucleus at rest to absorb a gamma ray, the gamma ray's energy must be slightly greater than the natural energy, because in both cases energy is lost to recoil. This means that nuclear resonance emission and absorption of the same gamma ray by identical nuclei is unobservable with free nuclei, because the shift in energy is too great and the emission and absorption spectra have no significant overlap. Nuclei in a solid crystal, however, are not free to recoil because they are bound in place in the crystal lattice. When a nucleus in a solid emits or absorbs a gamma ray, some energy can still be lost as recoil energy, but in this case it always occurs in discrete packets called phonons, quantized vibrations of the crystal lattice. Any whole number of phonons can be emitted, including zero, which is known as a recoil-free event. In this case conservation of momentum is satisfied by the momentum of the crystal as a whole, so practically no energy is lost. Mossbauer found that a significant fraction of emission and absorption events will be recoil-free, which is quantified using the Lamb-Mossbauer factor. This fact is what makes Mossbauer spectroscopy possible, because it means that gamma rays emitted by one nucleus can be resonantly absorbed by a sample containing nuclei of the same isotope, and this absorption can be measured. The recoil fraction of the Mossbauer absorption is analyzed by nuclear resonance vibrational spectroscopy. Typical method In its most common form, Mossbauer absorption spectroscopy, a solid sample is exposed to a beam of gamma radiation, and a detector measures the intensity of the beam transmitted through the sample. The atoms in the source emitting the gamma rays must be of the same isotope as the atoms in the sample absorbing them. If the emitting and absorbing nuclei were in identical chemical environments, the nuclear transition energies would be exactly equal and resonant absorption would be observed with both materials at rest. The difference in chemical environments, however, causes the nuclear energy levels to shift in a few different ways, as described below. Although these energy shifts are tiny, often less than a microelectronvolt, the extremely narrow spectral linewidths of gamma rays for some radionuclides make the small energy shifts correspond to large changes in absorbance. To bring the two nuclei back into resonance it is necessary to change the energy of the gamma ray slightly, and in practice this is always done using the relativistic Doppler effect. During Mossbauer absorption spectroscopy, the source is accelerated through a range of velocities using a linear motor to produce a Doppler effect and scan the gamma ray energy through a given range. A typical range of velocities for 57 Fe, for example, may be plus or minus 11 mm per second 1 mm per second equals 48.075 Nev. In the resulting spectra, gamma ray intensity is plotted as a function of the source velocity. At velocities corresponding to the resonant energy levels of the sample, a fraction of the gamma rays are absorbed, resulting in a drop in the measured intensity and a corresponding dip in the spectrum. The number, positions, and intensities of the dips also called peaks, dips in transmitted intensity are peaks in absorbance provide information about the chemical environment of the absorbing nuclei and can be used to characterize the sample. Selecting a suitable source Suitable gamma ray sources consist of a radioactive parent that decays to the desired isotope. 
Example, the source for 57 Fe consists of 57 Co, which decays by electron capture to an excited state of 57 Fe, which in turn decays to a ground state emitting a gamma ray of the appropriate energy. The radioactive cobalt is prepared on a foil, often of rhodium. Ideally the parent isotope will have a convenient half-life. Also, the gamma ray energy should be relatively low, otherwise the system will have a low recoil free fraction resulting in a poor signal to noise ratio and requiring long collection times. The periodic table below indicates those elements having an isotope suitable for Mossbauer spectroscopy. Of these, 57 Fe is by far the most common element studied using the technique, although 129I, 119 Sn, and 121 Sb are also frequently studied. Analysis of Mossbauer spectra As described above, Mossbauer spectroscopy has an extremely fine energy resolution and can detect even subtle changes in the nuclear environment of the relevant atoms. Typically, there are three types of nuclear interactions that are observed, isomeric shift, quadrupole splitting, and hyperfine splitting. Isomer shift Isomer shift delta, also sometimes called chemical shift, especially in the older literature, is a relative measure describing a shift in the resonance energy of a nucleus due to the transition of electrons within its s orbitals. The whole spectrum is shifted in either a positive or negative direction depending upon the s electron charge density. This change arises due to alterations in the electrostatic response between the non-zero probability s orbital electrons and the non-zero volume nucleus they orbit. Only electrons in s orbitals demonstrate non-zero probability because their 3D spherical shape incorporates the volume taken up by the nucleus. However, the p, d, and other electrons may influence the s electron density through a screening effect. Isomer shift can be expressed using the formula below, where k is a nuclear constant. The difference between Re2 and Rg2 is the effective nuclear charge radius difference between excited state and the ground state, and the difference between psi s2 0 a and psi s2 0 b is the electron density difference on the nucleus a. Source b. Sample. The chemical isomer shift as described here does not change with temperature, however, Mossbauer spectra do have a temperature sensitivity due to a relativistic effect known as the second-order Doppler effect. Generally, the impact of this effect is small, and the IUPAC standard allows the isomer shift to be reported without correcting for it. Cs equals K Re2 minus Rg2 psi S2 0 B minus psi S2 0 A. Display style text cs equals k left langle r underscore e caret two wrangle langle r underscore g caret two wrangle right left psi underscore s caret two zero underscore b psi underscore s caret two zero underscore a right. The physical meaning of this equation can be clarified using examples. While an increase in s electron density in 57 Fe spectrum gives a negative shift because the change in the effective nuclear charge is negative owing to re rg. Oxidized ferric ions Fe3+ have lower isomer shifts than ferrous ions Fe2+ because s electron density at the nucleus of ferric ions is greater due to a weaker screening effect by d electrons. The isomer shift is useful for determining oxidation state, valency states, electron shielding and the electron drawing power of electronegative groups. Quadrupole splitting Quadrupole splitting reflects the interaction between the nuclear energy levels and surrounding electric field gradient EFG. Nuclei in states with non-spherical charge distributions, i.e. all those with angular quantum number I greater than one half, have a nuclear quadrupole moment. In this case an asymmetrical electric field produced by an asymmetric electronic charge distribution or ligand arrangement splits the nuclear energy levels, in the case of an isotope with AI. Three halves excited state, such as 57 Fe or 119 Sn, the excited state is split into two substates Mi. Plus or minus one half and Mi equals plus or minus three halves. The ground to excited state transitions appear as two specific peaks in a spectrum, sometimes referred to as a doublet. 
Quadrupole splitting is measured as the separation between these two peaks and reflects the character of the electric field at the nucleus. The quadrupole splitting can be used for determining oxidation state, spin state, site symmetry and the arrangement of ligands. Magnetic hyperfine splitting Magnetic hyperfine splitting is a result of the interaction between the nucleus and any surrounding magnetic field see also Zeeman effect. A nucleus with spin I splits into two I plus one sub-energy levels in the presence of a magnetic field. For example, a nucleus with spin state I equals 3 halves will split into four non-degenerate substates with Mi values of plus 3 halves, plus 1 half, minus 1 half and minus 3 halves. Each split is hyperfine, being in the order of 10 minus 7 electron volts. The selection rule of magnetic dipoles means that transitions between the excited state and ground state can only occur where Mi changes by 0 or 1. This gives six possible transitions for a three halves to one half transition. In the majority of cases, only six peaks can be monitored in a spectrum produced by a hyperfine splitting. The extent of splitting is proportional to the magnetic field strength at the nucleus. Therefore, the magnetic field can be readily determined from the spacing between the outer peaks. In ferromagnetic materials, including many iron compounds, the natural internal magnetic fields are quite strong and their effects dominate the spectra. Combination of all The three Mossbauer parameters, isomer shift, quadrupole splitting, and hyperfine splitting can often be used to identify a particular compound by comparison to spectra for standards. A large database including most of the published Mossbauer parameters is maintained by the Mossbauer Effect Data Center. In some cases, a compound may have more than one possible position for the Mossbauer active atom. For example, the crystal structure of magnetite supports two different sites for the iron atoms. Its spectrum has 12 peaks, a sextet for each potential atomic site, corresponding to two sets of Mossbauer parameters. Many times all effects are observed, isomer shift, quadrupole splitting, and magnetic Zeeman effect. In such cases the isomer shift is given by the average of all lines. The quadrupole splitting when all the four excited substates are equally shifted two substates are lifted and other two are lowered is given by the shift of the outer two lines relative to the inner four lines all inner four lines shift in opposite to the outermost two lines. Usually fitting software is used for accurate values. In addition, the relative intensities of the various peaks reflect the relative concentrations of compounds in a sample and can be used for semi-quantitative analysis. Also, since ferromagnetic phenomena are size-dependent, in some cases spectra can provide insight into the crystallite size and grain structure of a material. Mossbauer emission spectroscopy Mossbauer emission spectroscopy is a specialized variant of Mossbauer spectroscopy where the emitting element is in the probed sample, and the absorbing element is in the reference. Most commonly, the technique is applied to the 57 co, 57 Fe pair. A typical application is the characterization of the cobalt sites in amorphous co-mo catalysts used in hydrodesulfurization. In such a case, the sample is doped with 57 co. Applications. Among the drawbacks of the technique are the limited number of gamma ray sources and the requirement that samples be solid in order to eliminate the recoil of the nucleus. Mossbauer spectroscopy is unique in its sensitivity to subtle changes in the chemical environment of the nucleus including oxidation state changes, the effect of different ligands on a particular atom, and the magnetic environment of the sample. As an analytical tool Mossbauer spectroscopy has been especially useful in the field of geology for identifying the composition of iron-containing specimens including meteors and moon rocks. In situ data collection of Mossbauer spectra has also been carried out on iron-rich rocks on Mars. In another application, Mossbauer spectroscopy is used to characterize phase transformations in iron catalysts, e.g., those used for fischer tropsch synthesis. While initially consisting of hematite iron 3 oxide, these catalysts transform into a mixture of magnetite and several iron carbides. 
The formation of carbides appears to improve catalytic activity, however it can also lead to the mechanical breakup and attrition of the catalyst particles, which can cause difficulties in the final separation of catalyst from reaction products. Mossbauer spectroscopy has also been used to determine the relative concentration change in the oxidation state of antimony SB during the selective oxidation of olefins. During calcination all the SB ions in an antimony containing tin dioxide catalyst transform into the plus 5 oxidation state. Following the catalytic reaction, almost all SB ions revert from the plus 5 to the plus 3 oxidation state. A significant change in the chemical environment surrounding the antimony nucleus occurs during the oxidation state change which can easily be monitored as an isomer shift in the Mossbauer spectrum. This technique has also been used to observe the second order transverse Doppler effect predicted by the theory of relativity because of very high energy resolution. Bioinorganic chemistry Mossbauer spectroscopy has been widely applied to bioinorganic chemistry, especially for the study of iron-containing proteins and enzymes. Often the technique is used to determine the oxidation state of iron. Examples of prominent iron-containing biomolecules are iron-sulfur proteins, ferritin, and HEMS including the cytochromes. These studies are often supplemented by analysis of related model complexes. An area of particular interest is the characterization of intermediates involved in oxygen activation by iron proteins. Vibrational spectra of iron 57 enriched biomolecules can be acquired using nuclear resonance vibrational spectroscopy, in which the sample is scanned through a range of synchrotron generated X rays, centered at the Mossbauer absorbance frequency. Stokes and anti Stokes peaks in the spectrum correspond to low frequency vibrations, many below 600 cm1 with some below 100 cm1. Mossbauer spectrometers A Mossbauer spectrometer is a device that performs Mossbauer spectroscopy, or a device that uses the Mossbauer effect to determine the chemical environment of Mossbauer nuclei present in the sample. It is formed by three main parts, a source that moves back and forth to generate a Doppler effect, a collimator that filters out non-parallel gamma rays and a detector. A miniature Mossbauer spectrometer, named MB MIMOS-2, was used by the two rovers in NASA's Mars Exploration Rover missions. 57 Fe Mossbauer spectroscopy The chemical isomer shift and quadrupole splitting are generally evaluated with respect to a reference material. For example, in iron compounds, the Mossbauer parameters were evaluated using iron foil thickness less than 40 micrometers. The centroid of the six-line spectrum from metallic iron foil is minus 0.1 mm per second for Co.RH source. All shifts in other iron compounds are computed relative to this minus 0.10 mm per second at room temperature, i.e., in this case isomer shifts are relative to Co.RH source. In other words, the center point of the Mossbauer spectrum is zero. The shift values may also be reported relative to 0.0 mm per second, here shifts are relative to the iron foil. To calculate outer line distance from six-line iron spectrum, V equals C B int mu N E gamma three G N E plus G N display style V equals frac C B underscore text int mu underscore erm n e underscore gamma 3 grams underscore n carrot e plus G underscore n where C is the speed of light bent is the internal magnetic field of the metallic iron 33t mu n is the nuclear magneton 3.15245126050 times 10 minus 8 electron volts t e gamma is the excitation energy 14.412497 keV gn is the ground state nuclear splitting factor 0.090604 i where isospin i 
1 half and gen is the excited state splitting factor of 57 Fe minus 0.15532 I where I 3 halves by substituting the above values one would get V equals 10.6258 mm per second. Other values are sometimes used to reflect different qualities of iron foils. In all cases any change in V only affects the isomer shift and not the quadrupole splitting. As the IBAME, the authority for Mossbauer spectroscopy, does not specify a particular value, anything between 10.60 mm per second to 10.67 mm per second can be used. For this reason it is highly recommended to provide the isomer shift values with respect to the source used, mentioning the details of source center of gravity of the folded spectrum, instead with respect to iron foil. References External links Mossbauer Effect Data Center page, including periodic table of Mossbauer isotopes Introduction to Mossbauer Spectroscopy RSC site Mossbauer Spectroscopy, a powerful tool in scientific research Mossbauer spectroscopy A rewarding probe of morphological structure of semiconducting glasses. P. Bulchand in Physical Properties of Amorphous Materials Institute for Amorphous Studies Series, Springer U.S., E.D.S., David Adler, Brian B. Schwartz, Martin C. Steele, PDF the program MOSA provides a straightforward approach to the fitting of 57 Fe conventional and synchrotron energy domain Mossbauer spectra MOSA is written in the MATLAB programming language. The source code can be obtained from its GitHub repository. Mossbauer Spectroscopy – Principles and Applications, Professor Drive. Philip Gutlich Emeritus Professor Mainz University, Institut für Anorganische Chemie und Analytische Chemie Johannes Gutenberg Universität Mainz.